we were going to look in at cost. OK, so if you've noticed, this is a starter activity that you'd find in my room. If pen and paper, can you go select one for me now and pause the video? So here I would like you to identify where you can buy your food locally in Bolsover. So list as many different outlets as you can. Pause the video now. OK, we have a look. So you are now very lucky in Bolsover. You've gained yourself a Morrison's quite recently. I'm sure you've noticed that a wide variety of products are available, a good value for money, um, and very choice. You've then got your co op in Bowls over. All right, it tends to have longer opening hours. You find that the actual products in co op are, are more expensive. And then we've got our value supermarkets. So we've got Aldi, you've got an Aldi in Clown, you've got your Tesco in Clown. Value supermarkets have increased. Um, over the last few years, good range of um, ingredients. You know, I tend to buy my staple um, ingredients from there. So my flour, my milk, my cheese, my butter, or I, um, my sugar, my eggs. They all tend to come from Aldi. I have to be honest. When it then comes down to buying fruit and vegetables, um, my local supermarket is a Sainsbury's, and I tend to buy more of my fruits from Sainsbury's. Possibly some of my vegetables from Aldi, and it just depends on the quality. You're very lucky as well. You go down the road, you've got your more fruiter. All right, this is actually a picture, supposedly from the internet, of the inside of the fruiter. Obviously, you can buy those local. You've got your local market on a Tuesday and a Friday. You also have um, a local butcher shop, and you also have your balls over fruit and veg shop. So. You're very lucky, you've got a wide range of places. So in your paragraph, you're going to need to be explained where you can buy your foods locally. And if we look at the benefits, all right, so if you can now think, just maybe get an A4 piece of paper, divide your um, page in half, and then go and put, you know, the positive things about it and the disadvantages of buying, all right, from these apps. Okay, pause the video now, have a go at the advantages and disadvantages. OK, let's come and have a look. So we'll start with the market. Benefit of buying from a local market, you've got, you buy, you can buy it on a Tuesday and a Friday. Good value for money. You can see the product. Right, you're buying from a local supplier. Because you're buying from a local supplier, more of the money will go back down to the um, supplier and the grower. You are reducing the carbon footprint. It's better for the environment. Um, there's less pollution. So if you can actually write that into your work, much better to a local market. That's also very true for your local fruit and veg. All right. So your local fruit and veg will source their ingredients from a local market, possibly one in Sheffield, and therefore, again, back to the farmer. And it's also true for more fruiter. I'm led to believe with more fruiter is that sometimes we've got things their emotion and other times it's not. So it's not as potentially as reliable uh, in terms of what you can get all the way through the year. Uh, and then we've got our butcher shop. Benefit from a butcher's high quality product. Um, you can get lots of advice from the butcher. The butcher will be very knowledgeable about different cuts of meat suitable for. Um, but they can be all right slightly more expensive so you have to buy one and obviously your supermarkets this is where probably most of your food stuffs come from if i'm honest when i do my aldi shop all my ingredients will come from aldi so by that i'm sort of taking basic in buy my flour my sugar my marge uh, my butter my cheese my milk um or many of my tins pasta, rice, spaghetti, all of those those to buy from the Aldi. I have to then say, um, to shelf life, I tend to go and buy more of my um, fruits from Sainsbury's where they tend to be, have a longer shelf life, better quality, and I'm able to pick them. So pick what I want. So that's, that's where I get my fruits and vegetables from. So now we've done that little introductory task, let's look looking for this week. Okay, so what I'm looking for for this week is an 
a list of the ingredients and equipment for each of the products. I'd like you to explain why most food is bought from a supermarket. And then you like to think about the calculated cost of each ingredient and a total cost for each product. And then we'll eventually evaluate the benefits and the drawbacks, advantages and disadvantages of buying locally. And then collect the cost proportion and suggest a recommended price. That's what RP stands for, recommended price. So from my research, I have found out that families tend to spend, if you can, and you go on the internet uh, and see how much the average family spends on food. Roughly, a family. ours has gone up a little bit since my daughter, so we're probably about 100, 120 pounds sometimes all right, a week on food. Now, in each family, family circumstances will be different. Um, so you need to think about family budgets ultimately you know you've got a limited amount of money that you can spend on food and we're looking um, with our my year nine group all right you're looking at celebration so you may spend a little bit more money on celebratory foods all right because it's a special okay those that are my year 10 right, you will find that obviously you've got you catering for a primary school child you thinking about fruits and vegetables this is a week to week you You've got a limited amount of money, so you do need to think about costs. Okay, so why is it important to calculate the cost? All right, so you've got just do a little sentence. I know it's important. I calculate the cost of the product ingredients, so I've got a realistic into how much, um, whether it's good value for money. Or you will also need to write a little sentence that says, I need to take into a consideration of costs, such as manufacturing profit and ultimately will then end up with you're going to give yourself a recommended retail price all right that's your rrp okay you're then going to need to do for this paragraph so in the, within this paragraph i want you to link with where you're going to purchase your ingredients from so as we've just done in our introduction you know i understand all right that most of the ingredients were from a local supermarket all right link LD or link to a budget supermarket or a value supermarket explain why because and then take yourself through whereas you might get other ingredients which are locally sourced we know that these potentially can be more expensive but you often find that the shelf life will be long the products are much fresher so that's true your meat your fruits and your veg now if they're fresh you're going to end up with more nutrients, a high nutritional and particularly water soluble vitamins, um, your B, they are going to be higher quantity of water soluble vitamins in your fruits and vegetables. It's much better for the environment. All right, we're not transporting the ingredients so far. We're reducing the food miles, we're reducing the carbon footprint, we're reducing pollution, and that's much better. And also, we support the local economy, and that's really important. Um, so, it's important that the money then will have the potential to go back to the local, the local producer, and then that obviously is healthy for, for all of us. We've obviously talked about explain you could go and buy your meat for your particular. So, say for instance, you've elected to do a lasagna, you could go and buy your minced beef from a local uh, shop or a farm shop. Um, with that, that Good quality, we can explain about it. good quality. All right, um, you're going to get expert advice and guidance, but they can have a tendency to sometimes be a little bit more expensive. And then obviously, you can explain that fruits and vegetables. So, now speaking to my tense, particularly fruit and veg, you can go and buy them from the market. All right, obviously, twice a week, um, they've traveled a shorter distance, better for the environment, better for the the local economy. So what I'm looking for is a paragraph that will cover each of these bullet points. All right. There is a good example on the um, show my homework for you to have reference to. The paragraph only needs to be relatively short. All right. So don't worry too much. Short introductory paragraph explaining that you need to um, calculate the cost of ingredients. Take into consideration cost of manufacture, all right, that recommended retail price, and then say the benefits and the drawbacks of food from different places.
moving on. So we're looking at cost. You'll see this table. Obviously, my year nines will actually only have the two colors, two products, or two rows for two products. Year ten will have three products to be considering. So what I'm wanting you to do, all right, is use list all your ingredients. You must give me an accurate list of all of the ingredients and include the quantities. In reality, it's a copy and paste from your recipe that you've already collected. Pause if you haven't got your recipe handy. Go and collect your recipe. So you've got your recipe in front of you. Copy paste all the list of ingredients into this first box here. Please you put a name of the product on here. So I'm going to now just escape out. My here, I'm going to type in lasagna. Before this here. All right, and then I'll be list ingredients. And then we read the recipe, read the recipe, and work out what in, um, equipment you're going to need. So straight away, I will be saying, okay, so I've got to chop my onion. So I'm going to need green chopping board. I'm going to need a sharp knife. I've got a carrot, so I'm going to peel it. So I have got a peeler. Okay. I'm obviously going to put some garlic. So I've got a garlic press. And you can see, you just continue to add on all the equipment you are going to need. Read through the recipe. Okay. So I have my wok in there. And the spoon to stir it with. I keep adding the ingredients. Okay, so we have a column list of ingredients with the quantities, and we have a column reading your listed down on all the equipment. Okay, now while you complete. Okay, so we're now going to look at Costin's calculator. This has been put on the shared area for you. So if you click, all right, onto the share point, and it should take you. I'll have to do it here. Shared area. If you've not been, to go over share point. I'm sure for the year ten. I put it also the year nine. So. I can see I've got time here. Celebration time. There you've got your costs and calculator. So I'm just going to pull mine up from below here. It looks like this. Just going to move that over so it pickled. Okay. You need to just do an enable. And then you save your app and then actually do this through Office 365. Let me know how to help you out. So I'm also going to have up on here two seconds. Let's see. have both of them show it. So I've now got my ingredients. So I may well have, I haven't listed them all. Uh, I've done my very best for you. Um, but you can see I've tried to do them in a So the first thing I have the ingredients list, I'll have one onion. All right. Well done. I think I put it on for vegetables. In a packet, I need one, so I'm literally going to the zero column. I'm going to type in one. So Matt tells me that my onion cost three, so I would like you to put 33. Try and to get these to line sizes the same, it's easier for the examiner. 
All right. I've got garlic. I shall add that one in it. Garlic. I know that one clove of garlic costs about five pence. They're about 30 pence each. So that's 5p. All right. Minced beef. So, like I've I'm going to have to go online to some of them. All right, so meat in there. Okay, so. Uh, and then use the cal cost as best you can. So you may well have some flour. So you will have 25 grams of flour. Don't put the G on the end. Just put the amount. And it'll Salt in you know, 1p, pepper 1p. All right, bananas you can be working out 14 pence each. If I've got blueberries and I only need 100, 100 in, and you can see just put your enter and give you the cost. So you have got a table. Right, and if I just take you to here now, this is what we're looking at. What will appear in your documents. You've got your table. This is how I want to put your information in. When you get to the end, putting all your costs in, you can see total cost. I want you to add all the cost of all the ingredients to the cost. You need to have a cost. So if you made it, it comes in past 20, you're literally in about 20 here. So four. By the number of persons, four people. In real terms, I'm going to tell you that works out one than five per person. That's how much it will cost you for the ingredients. So you've then got to work out your record retail price. So how would the portion of the sandwich? can be cost you could you know double add a bit there's a rough arbitrary so if we went to we could even get to 99 you've got to think, think it would be sold in a supermarket setting all right so a portion you might get 2.99 you might think well, i'm just going to go for 75 but just give a realistic projection so to summarize from you for this week to write your paragraph so here i'd like you to write your paragraph all right i will have given you an example uh, to explain how much money is spent on by a family it could be something between 100 pounds i would like to paragraph explain that parents and families actually have a limited amount of money to spend then explain to the examiner that you're going to consider how much it costs so by the ingredients, you can think about the cost of manufacture, you're going to consider profit and with the realistic price, and then explain where you will pull the ingredients from. So, most ingredients come from a local supermarket, you could use the budget, which is Aldi and Little, explain why. Move on to where you might buy things from locally. All right, so you've got your clues at the beginning, you know, whereby we're going from a local market. Local um, butcher, a local fruit and veg so. And if it's look at the drawbacks of the different places, so that's up here, and then work through trying to do product all right, all the way through. So, the ingredients in quantity, copying and pasting it from your recipe, your cost calculator. That show a uh, student share for you or in the share the coffee ingredients and read your recipe and list the equipment. If you get up doing the cost, let me know. All right, to help. Ultimately, I'd like you to calculate the tens you have for products. So three sets of ingredients to pay in, work out your equipment, um, and you nine two products. All right, and you. Do the cost till the end if you all 
please send me an email. All right. Like I say, if you need any help, I am at the end of an email. I'm sat at waiting to receive them. If you need any support, please, you know, just get in touch. All the best. Uh, I hope you find the video clip useful and hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.